Colorado Public Radio, welcome to Terra Firma. Hello, friends. I'm C. Marie Furman. Come with me on this journey as we listen for insights from the natural world. This time, to an abandoned Forest Service road in Idaho. It's autumn, and the needles of the larch are falling as slow as the misty raindrops of spring. It's raining sunshine in their yellow needles. Higher on the slope, aspen leaves twirl like dancers. The deer have hunkered down away from the hunter's sights. The bear is growing sleepy in her den. Last night, the first frost covered the grass. But this afternoon, the grass stands brave against the midday sun that's warming it, taking this last gasp of breath before the long winter sleep. Most people seem to like springtime the best, when everything is fresh and new. But fall seems to me more welcoming, an invitation to slow down, a reminder that enough work has been done for a while. These fall days, I wander the closed roads, a new pup at my side, the old dog still pushing ahead, but slower labored by the wear of bone. And yet, like the larch, he labors on in such a way that my respect for the word labor changes. Already we can smell the body of the bear that is decaying into the grass. The dogs want nothing of it, but her body has fed the myriad creatures preparing for the long winter. Despite their disdain and the smell, I need to see what has become of her. The earth is making quick work of her body. Her long, white teeth are all that emerge from her head, and I touch first the top one, then the bottom, each almost an inch long. I run my tongue over my own canines, and I'm glad for their inadequacy. I am glad I am not scientist enough to understand the cant of light that makes fall afternoons so glorious. I don't need to understand what makes the leaves of the mountain ash red or their berries the bright orange of kokanee. There are many good reasons that the needles of the larch, unlike other conifer, turn gold in fall, but I cannot list them. This lifetime of seasons in the Rockies has taught me everything I need to know. It is the season when plants speak with color and very little sound is in the air. Save for Raven, the birds are silently witnessing the change too, holding their reverie for the gold trees that seem to make their own light on the hillsides. Gravel crunches under our feet as we approach a hill. A squirrel, chittering and whistling, makes the pup startle. It is the first time she has heard this sound, and she is unsure. This is a good place to turn around. Coming down hills hurts the old dog's shoulders. So we save this rise for another day, another season.
This is grace. The dry creek bed, the way the earth absorbs the bear's body back into her. The easy way the deer disappear into the understory without a sound. This is grace. The way the sun bathes the shortest days in the kindest light. I want to be like that tree on the hillside, most beautiful in my final season. Absorbed like the bear into the earth where I have slept so many seasons. Let me be like those golden larch needles falling slowly through these warm shafts of light. Let me be that bright sound reminding those who walk up this autumn hill that one season cannot be better than another and that grace lies in accepting each as they come. I'm C. Marie Furman. This field recording was gathered by Jacob Job. Terra Firma is a production of Colorado Public Radio.